TV. Hello, regular size Rick here, your favorite used car salesman. Today, I have my best friend, my partner in crime, my heel, Iggy. What's going on, Iggy? Hey, man, just being America's sweetheart. And yes, you are. Are you excited about today's episode? Super excited, yeah. Did you know, Iggy, that today is the sports episode? I did. Ooh. And I you did. know, it wouldn't be a proper sports episode if we didn't have quality athletes. That's true. So, uh... First off, what quality athletes do we have today? Our first guest is international big time wrestling, former title weight holder. He has a shot to get back that title this February 16th at the Jefferson Event Center in Trenton. It's the mysterious Movado. So we were just at the last international big time wrestling match that yeah. Movado fought, and he actually lost his belt, right? Fucking Officer Rod Street. Officer Rod Street. You know, Bullshit. I've never seen so much anger in the room. Bullshit. People, man. people. you know what? If, if you weren't uh, America's sweetheart, I would say that Movado was, but he's actually not even an American. He's not even of this earth. No, he's not. He's, he's visiting a, he's here to, to watch the humans, correct? Yeah, correct. I'm really excited about that. So, you know, we have that. Uh, yep. that champion and then we have another champion yeah. we booked him today didn't yeah, we we are excited about this guy too so uh what do they call these guys well he informed us earlier we talked to him before the show and he says that they are considered called yo-yoers so he is a duncan championship yo-yoer you know what's funny about that i actually thought they were called something else what Incels. Oh shit! <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. When you meet this guy, he is he is yeah. so witty. Yep. He is he's so charismatic. Porcelain he, skinned. He makes good eye contact. So we know yeah. he's all right there, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Porcelain porcelain skin. <laughs> he makes good eye contact. He, yeah. So I mean, he no seriously, you guys are gonna love him. We yeah. want to have him on the show regularly. Yeah. He's so. he is uh, ranked number one in Canada mm -hmm. for Duncan. He's ranked number one, and then in the U.S. he's ranked number three. That's a, and all around the world, he's yeah. he's a champion. He's a champion. So we're really excited to have him today. Yeah. Um, we have some current events. coming coming up, you know, just after this break. Um, but you got, you ready? You ready for today? I'm fucking ready, We got man. some intensity. Let's do a Let's sports. Let's do it. Okay, we'll see ya. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the best one. Okay. What are you doing? I'm throwing money out the window. You should have gone to Victory Motors. Victory Motors has Metro Detroit's best selection of one or two year old vehicles for up to half the payment of new. If you don't buy your next car at Victory Motors, you're throwing money out the window. And we are back. How's it going, Iggy? going great. Do you have a Facebook? You know, I do, but I do not go on to Facebook. I don't even have the app on my phone. I fucking hate Facebook. I, you know what's funny is uh, Facebook is the only one that, that I can use like properly. I've had a couple of different ones. I, I had MySpace to begin with, mm -hmm. and it, it felt mm -hmm. good because, you know, immediately when you had MySpace, you had a friend, which was Tom. You remember Tom? I do remember Tom. Tom had the white t-shirt on, and he looked like he was that dude that was like, he was like trying to make a, a beer bong at a party, and somebody was like, hey, Tom! And he was like, hey! You know, like, it is, give you a thumbs up from behind, and, yeah, you know, he's, he's, he, Tom's a dick. He's it's, just it's a that, perfect. He's yeah. a dick. He's a dick. He's perfect. It's perfect. That yeah. I mean, but then I I, did, I had MySpace and MySpace didn't work out, and then I had a uh, Twitter and I had a hard time twatting. I wasn't very good at that. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't get a hand. I have one of those, but I don't think I've twatted since like two thousand and no. like nine or something. And then then I have Instagram, um, and I did that for a while, and yeah. it's cool because you can just put pictures up, and you don't have to say anything, you don't have to explain anything, but it has its limitations. And um, you know, Facebook, you can give a little more information. It was better in the in the early days when I got it, but now it's just filled with ads. Right. Well, because because, you know, back in the day when it first started, I've had it since it first started back in 2004. Yeah. And that was when I went to my my first college out of state. And it was great because all you saw were the kids in your own college. Mm -hmm. And then if you met people that were outside, because I went to a college in Boston, so there's yeah. a ton of colleges there. What, what and actually, that's where that? Facebook started. They, they started at Harvard. Oh, wow. Right? So it's like you could, you could friend other people from other colleges, but you couldn't see the rest of that college. Now you can see everybody. I know, and it just proves the point that things are only fun when somebody else is not invited to come. Exactly. And we, you know, we look at history, and all mm -hmm. the best things have been exclusive to one group of people. Mm. We're seeing that right <laughs> now, you know, in practice. So, yeah. I don't know. Yes. But the the thing is about Facebook, it was it was a lot better in the earlier years, but now whenever I log on, I'm getting pummeled with ads. Yes. Pummeled and in the ass. W w with ads. With it's, ads. It's absolutely amazing how many ads I get. I can't even, like, I can't even talk to a friend or look at the news. Well, number one, the news is horrible on, on Facebook. Right. It's amazing because people uh, digest the news constantly and ingest the news, and they, they, they repeat the stuff, and they repost the stuff, and it's absolute crap. It's not right. true. None of it's true. Don't even believe it. Right. Don't use, if it has a, a, a source that says, what's it, yes, this is science or politics, oh, yeah, don't, don't repost that. It's not real. It's not, right. it's not true. It's fake news. 
news. Most of the time, um, anything vaccine related? Yeah, nothing. Okay. So, but the interesting thing is, I started coming across this thing called Wish.com. Wish.com was a gentle lover at first. He kind of snuck his way in. You gave me a oh, back a rub. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh. If you see what he posts. And then all of a sudden, a week, a month later, I was just getting pummeled with these ads. Wow. It was absolutely, well, like, it was disgusting. Can you elaborate a little more? Do you well, have any examples, maybe? Well, okay, I, there's a lot of um, ads on, on Facebook that you're getting hit with, but the Wish.com ads are so much different. What's going on with them is they, they choose photos that burn your brain so you click on them. You're like, these products don't even look like they're real things. Okay. So like, 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 like you'll get like a, a close up of somebody's pores and they're like, somebody's oh, what pores, like they're poor, like real close on, up, like on their face. Yeah. It was like $2 and 33 cents. Click now. And it's like, why, why, why would that be that way? And then you have to click cause you want to see, or they'll have like a dog, you know, wearing a little shark suit, um, you know, sitting on top of a lemon. And it's like, Oh my, I got to, I, I don't know if I can buy that, but I have to click on it. So, um, if you haven't seen this before, I you, haven't seen this before. So no. I'm going to show you. I just know of wish.com. So we're going to, we're, I'm, I'm going to pull some up, some of my okay. favorite ones up and we're going to talk about them Let's see. and we're going to share them with you guys before we meet our guests today. So that's why I have the computer today. Iggy, let me use it. Yeah. All right, so the first one I'm going to look at, I'm going to start at the bottom. Uh, we have these, these amazing, um, what are they? <laughs> <laughs> well, 300 customers, 300 million customers around the world are using these, apparently. Uh, wow. These are, they appear to be boxer briefs on a very, very, um, well very endowed, chiseled man, man yes, yes. Um, who is, is seemingly well endowed yeah. um, and the snout of the wolf <laughs> there's a wolf on the crotch and the snout is where um, th the bits hang yeah so I mean right here it says how many people are you so 300 million people are customers. those different like different colors that they've got going on yeah black like black cream and red here's the thing too they don't they don't describe the images very well so you have to wonder yeah. and that's also that also makes you click on it but but they're telling me 300 million people people use this product. So next time I meet somebody at the mall or work with a customer, I'm going to wonder <laughs> if they have a wolf on their donger. I'm mean, seriously, I'm just, I'm just going to assume that everybody in the U.S. has. I like this. how they use the the. It's a very common picture of the wolf howling in, in front of a moon. You know, I, everybody has had like there. I think Mac and Always Sunny has that shirt. I've worn that shirt on a day out of drinking beer in public. Like everybody wears that shirt if they're going out on a day of drinking in public. <laughs> so actually, if you've been drinking in public, this might be a good thing for you or for your toddler who is an alcoholic. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> so this is my favorite. I I just looking at this picture, this probably hurt me the most scrolling around in like, what do you think? I, I didn't realize that babies could have such long dongers. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's the why, does it, why does it shoot out? Like, why does it extend that long? Well, I think it's because you fill it up. It's like, it's like, oh, we can, we can put more urine in this. Really? Like, oh, okay. So it's not just for <laughs> one, it's not for one bathroom time. It's multiple bathrooms. Well, here's time. the weird. That's fucking gross. Look at that. They're going to be t carrying that thing extended out. Like they're walking around the zoo. They're about to go see like the penguins or the monkeys or some shit. And they're walking around with what people might think to be a water bottle, but it's just a piss filled jug that is like, uh, what, what? come on. Okay. So the crazy part is, is not only is your kid peeing in public, which I don't mind. Actually, I don't think and public urination Come on. should be illegal. But this, you're peeing into this little cartoon character's mouth. Is that so an this alligator? Kid has to put the alligator's a face up to his pants. And I think right there, that that is a I like how they have, like like the picture of it is the, is a being used, in, like in the process of being used. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> the kid totally. is like, doesn't even have his pants down, of course. So but it's like... The the actual pose the kids in is is kind of terrifying too. I have another picture of this kid he, posing who's he for it. At? <laughs> I have no I, I have no idea. It's it's too much. So that's wish.com. Let's take a look at a couple other ones. Maybe okay. maybe this next one will be a little gentler. Let's take a look here. Oh, I love them. I love these. I want a pair of myself. I know. That, See, I think that this reaches like, like a, a different, it, it crosses into a, a different line. A different demographic where, right here. Yeah, yeah. Like I would totally rock these. these I are, would totally rock these. These are great. And you know, this is the kind of thing you'd want your lover to wear. Yeah. I love the fact that there's like Nicolas Cage's nose is right where a dong or your, your cooch is going to be. And <laughs> like this, like his eyes are like... Just so maniacal and, and full of inspiration, man. So that, that's a good one. That kind of brought us up a little wow, bit, right? Let's one, see what yeah. else we got. What's this? Uh, you know what? I've, I've seen this before. Is this a medieval torture device? I don't know, man. Like, apparently it's it's for... Okay, so my f <laughs> my my family, my, my father has, like, he's got some, some 
fucked up big toes, man. Yeah. Like they've got, what do they call it? Like fungi foot. I don't know. That sounds, that, that's, that's almost like saying moist, you know, <laughs> fungi <laughs> Moist. Foot. Fungi that's a fun foot. word. We're going to, we're actually going to be using that word more in the future. It's moist. going to be, if you hear us say moist, yeah. um, it's time to scream at home and also, <laughs> and also like send Kiwi's us a Playhouse. message immediately. The first one to send us a message, you'll be on the show. How yeah. about that? Live chat. Live yes! chat. Live chat. Yeah. These are the word. So yeah. No, okay. So wait a minute. Now these are, these are for people that have fungi feet and it, it's like, what? They're like thumb screws. Understand. They're like medieval thumb screws. Yeah. It's supposed to like, I don't know. What's it supposed to do? I, it's supposed. To, I have no idea. Let's just move on. Let's okay. take a look. Maybe we got something better coming up. <laughs> Basically, the toe is. Uh, it's supposed to isolate part of the toe that has the fungus on it, and then you're able to like you know, <laughs> just, just jam it off. What is? But hold on. What is this? And those I just are, a new one right those here. Are, those are crack pipes. So, the, so not only can you get something um, for your feet, a little bit of Nicolas Cage, but you can also buy a pink or blue, depending on the gender of the baby. Oh yeah. We can Ooh, gender the, yeah. Okay. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a crack party. Two dollars too. And we're going to see is it a boy or a girl? I don't know until the yeah. crack pipe comes out. That's they pass, gorgeous. Yeah. They pass them out there wrapped, it, and then you see if they're either blue, it's a boy, it's pink, it's a girl. I mean, if you're going by gender norms these days, all the hipsters are gonna love this one. Yeah. Or you can do both. You can. I, I if think honestly, I think that this this yeah. gift is what leads to those other gifts. You do this <laughs> gift first and then you get the Nicolas Cage and then the and then the toe torture thing. So so but if you are doing a ge general neutral you, neutral you can actually smoke both of them. Do a double handed, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, like and it. then it turns them clear. I love I love it. Let's go but to the, the next fact one. that they're only 2 bucks, that's a steal. That's a steal cuz you know crack is getting kind of expensive, I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> pretty crazy. What is this? That is Hold on, what's this look at it? Wait. Wait. Mo oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. I want to answer this question first. Okay. Can I wait 15 days for delivery? Not for that. Okay, that's it. Wait, we're, no, we're, what we're, the fuck? Go back. We're, we're, we're going to move on. Right. What's this? Uh, it looks like a, uh, like a fudgesicle that's just been taken out of uh, the freezer without the <laughs> tongue depressor. So it's just the tongue. Okay, that one wasn't that much fun, but it was weird. This one is my favorite. Hold on, it's coming up. What's this? <laughs> is that a banana? I, I have no clue. Let's Again, see. 300 million customers worldwide. So next time you guys... Very, very happy with Next time you're purchase. at work or, you know, hanging out with friends, just imagine that they're wearing this. I have no idea why, and I don't know what it does, but they're wearing this. What is the, Is that a banana? No, I think what I'm looking... Can we at, zoom in on this shit? Yeah, we're going to zoom in. I think what we're looking at is, I think this is a product for females so they don't have to... Um, go to the bathroom at like a sporting event, maybe? I don't know. Wait, that's a thing that you piss in? That's just I not so. like a toy banana? But where does the hose go? Oh, it goes down the leg. No, this is for... This oh, so this literally... Oh, that's... that's oh, yeah, it's optional. Oh, okay. when it says optional for men and women because you can oh. put... Like it says it optional for men and yeah, women. Yeah, I see that. Just not, chose, not chosen it's by a, me. It's a catheter without actually having to go in, up, and... Do, 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 you know. This is one of those ones that are meant to burn your brain. Okay, what is this? Let's see here. What do we got? We got another another two weeks for delivery. I don't know if I can wait that long for that. <laughs> so we have a leg compression sock from Italy. That so you know that it's it's going to be good for. I have no idea what this is. It's it's a what is what is it? I don't know, but it's a four star item. <laughs> chub Chub Rub Nightmare. Apparently, I'm not talking to you. Well, I'm not talking to Chub Rub Nightmare. So, okay, oh, I I don't know. Let's see here. Let's go on another one here. <laughs> now, this is a very famous one. People have been reposting this one all the time. Yeah, yeah. I've this seen is that on Facebook, and it's not getting flagged. Is that um, that's an elephant? Wow. It's an elephant. But I've, I've usually looked, seen them where it's like they're they're pendants on a uh, a necklace, and you can pull. Like a chain down, and, and the little thing turns into. So a he, boner. so the, so the elephant is riding a boat down a river. Is that what's going on? Yes. Okay. A very penis shaped boat. Well, you, you gave up. You gave up the the tuna there. You, you shouldn't have said. Oh, that. did I give all you the gave tuna? It up. I, I wanted people at home to imagine <laughs> what it was. You it, gave it up. It's dicks. Okay. Now this is another another very uh, popular one. People are showing all the time. Now. Oh, oh. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> If this is exercise, man, I, I, I don't, I'm missing out. I've been I don't think it's exercise for her. You don't think so? <laughs> she looks excited to be wearing it. It's incredible. Yeah. So this is a very, this is probably one of the first ones I saw back when these started ramping up weird. And uh, people t uh, <laughs> clicking on it. Now this, what is it? Is that an animal? I don't know. It doesn't look like a real body What part. kind of currency is CHF? <laughs> 
because it's only one of those. Okay. That's how much it costs. It's let's one move, CHF. Let's move on. Okay, this is another one of my Ooh. favorites. Oh, is that his bare ass? <laughs> That's his butt crack right there. So this is this is a hip hack your mom or dad wears, and if you have to use the bathroom, you just sit, you just oh, pick them up, fuck out of here, and they take a dump in the bag. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to get one for when I take Steve out for long periods of time. Ooh, I need Iggy, I'm going to put you right up on there, pick you up. We'll just get to a bench. We'll go on to a bench. You'll sit down and I'll straddle you. So I'm going to need like six or seven of those hip packs. <laughs> Just, you for, should see just for one setting, one for one sitting. <laughs> this guy, he can really tear it up, but he does need twenty dollars toilet paper. He's it's got true. Very, I do. God damn it! He's got a very fussy ass. Okay, That's we're gonna move right. on to the next one. Let's see here. What's this? What are? I can't even see it. What's funny about this is I actually own one of these. For for cupcake. cupcake, yeah, she's got one. God, you're such an asshole. I, yes, I have a, uh, a, a, a hamster named Cupcake, and I did. I thought it was a gerbil. Is that a hamster? Or is it a gerbil? No, it's a hamster. Okay. We, th we thought it was a gerbil, but yeah. it wasn't. It's a big hamster. It's a big ass hamster. So that's pretty cool. So it's just basically a collar and yeah. a leash for a hamster. They don't really work. They don't, they, they they wiggle out of them. Okay, next one. Such an ass. All right, what's this? I love this. This is great. Only twenty. That's a that's a steal. I like I like how it starts off. What shopping malls don't want you to know? <laughs> like you, you can get this at Wet Seal, right? Wet Seal? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Forever yeah. Twenty One. I saw they had yeah. that for twice as much. Oh yeah, I see the girls walking around like that yeah. all the time. Gosh, you you uh, millennials, man, it, it's amazing. And there's a little spot to where you can uh, put your Starbucks <laughs> straw. So if you're drinking a uh, uh, unicorn latte, you just put it through there. That's amazing. We're gonna move on to the next one. We're getting we're getting some good ones here. Let's see here. What's I love, okay, so I saw this earlier, and I thought this was pretty funny, but it's, it's like glow-in-the-dark, they look like glow-in-the-dark Chuck Nuts for either an exercise bike, which makes the most sense to me, or just your regular bike. Oh, that's a bicycle. I thought yeah, that was a golf a club. No. Okay, no, it goes under. <laughs> yeah. So when you're riding your bike, there's a couple of glowing nuts that yeah, can save your life. Exactly. Right there, those are life-saving yeah. nuts. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Okay, next, next one. Next picture. That's the same one. We saw that. Already. Okay, we saw that one. We're gonna move on. What is? What are these? <laughs> I are like, those sunflower seeds? It is so specific of a product. Okay, this product is made for one thing. If you ever have a problem when you're trying to watch uh, Asian Netflix on your phone, yeah. and you're eating sunflower seeds, and you yeah. want to have somewhere to hold your phone? It's when and baseball place is during its off season that I have to watch <laughs> this, you know, because this is amazing. I have a bad sunflower seed addiction, so I gotta get my Asian. Is this Asian Twilight? Crazy, watching? crazy rich Asians. Huh? It's Asian Twilight. Asian Twilight. Yeah, that's what's going on there. Asian Twilight. She's got that um, that look on her face. Like, <laughs> don't hurt me. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. All right. So, boom. Oh, lovely. I don't know what this is illustrating, but I think that's a little plume of smoke in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that at first? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. That's great. <laughs> okay. That's incredible. So, is this for riding on a bicycle seat? But it also shows that it has a I think canal. It's, I think it's it's for um, the farts. yeah. No, it's it's like a diffuser for your farts. So, like if you really if you've got really bad gas, it just kind of diffuses. It absorbs the sound vibrations so that it's not as intense. It, is, it, it absorbs like, you know, the when sound you're, vibrations. Yeah, when you're a lawyer in the middle of court, yeah. as one does, you know, you don't have to worry about you know somebody saying I object when you've <laughs> when you've really cut. cut the cable. So also, I think if you guys have ever done, uh, I think it's, what's it called? Bitcoin yoga? No, Bikram yoga. Bik Bikram yoga. Bikram. It's very yeah. hot. It's yeah. like a yoga, I did it one time. 111 degree yoga. Sucked. And everybody smells like farts. Yeah. So if this, if yeah. this cushions that, or maybe even has maybe a charcoal Ooh, that's filter a good, in it. That's a good call. Yeah, it yeah. could, it could, you know, help your, your Bitcoin yoga. So let's move, yeah. let's move on to the next one. All right. So let's see here. We're moving along. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, shit. I love this one. Wow. So I don't even know. Is it a picture? Is it just an emoji? I really hope is that it it'd be great if it was like either a, like a, a, an earring or something to go on the necklace, but it would be just great as... Um, no idea. Like a sock pattern. Or it just, you, you buy this and it sends it to five of your, five of your friends or enemies. Yeah, like that would who, be good. Who knows what this is? It's got, no, okay, we saw some stars. We saw four stars, we saw three stars. This item that has no description is just a silhouette of a buck mounting no, a No, dude, hunter. that's a moose. A moose a mounting a hunter is a five-star product. And it's only one dollar. Five stars, that's amazing. Yeah. See, dreams are made, uh, are, they come true on Wish.com. Yeah. That's incredible. Your yeah. wishes are granted. Yeah. You've always, these are wildest dreams right now. I like 
like the, the, wait, go back to the picture. Go back okay, to the moose. Go, look, look at the, the, the look of passion in the moose's head, yeah. like the way it's arched back. It's like, ah, oh, moose. I can tell by that picture they're listening to Lionel Richie. <laughs> I wonder where you are. Wonder what you moose. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. All right, sweet. And again. Yeah, okay, I saw this one too, and I was kind of, uh, because apparently it, the way that they described it was that if you were going to get work done on your teeth or something to try this out before, yeah. like, but for, for what reason? Okay. Like to make sure that your dentist is doing it right because of what you read on the internet. So like put this here in your mouth and make sure that your dentist gets these areas. So, so right here, I, th I thought this was like a dental dam situation, but here the weird part is <laughs> why are some of the teeth exposed? Some of the teeth, yeah. And some of them not. That's one of those things they're on trying to bottom. burrow into your brain so yeah. you click on it. So I wish you didn't get me that time. Better try harder. <laughs> right. I, I, I want to, I would imagine that the model, like when they're doing it, they're like, am I doing it right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so you know it. Okay, so um, you ready for the next one? Maybe? Yeah. Boom. Oh, love it. Look, wow. That plume is back. The, the plume, plume is smoke. The plume is back. So I like how the plume of smoke is in the front this I time. thought that that was only a thing they did in porns. So th this gentleman, his, he's the first man to queff. Queff. He queff. <laughs> it's incredible. I'll just, right out the hole. That's, that's wow. amazing. I want to get a pair of these. This is also, this is a five, four star product. No, $2. Oh, four. $2. $2. Dollars. Three dollars. million customers are wearing this. Like million. I say, 100 million. You're probably wearing this at home. Just saying. Man, if I could quaff out my, out my penis, it would be very scary. This, okay, this is probably our last one. This right here is probably the most famous wish.com item that gets, it hits everybody and everybody talks about it. What do you see in there, Iggy? Well, it appears to be a cat. It is a cat. Do they, are they selling the cat? Maybe? No. What? What, what are they selling here, though? Well, it, 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 it looks like what they're selling is whatever is over the cat's head. <laughs> so is this uh, like maybe uh, an S&M thing for cats? Something um, you're doing to, to support their lifestyle? Yeah, maybe. Or is this uh, something you're putting on your cat's head because you don't want them to see you when you're changing uh, them? Well, so there's sometimes, if you ever, you, everybody out there that has pets, there are moments you wish that they couldn't see you doing something, right? So maybe that this, this is what this product is for. Everything. I know, and if the moment that everything. dog talks, he's gone, right? If he says a word, if he's the first dog to ever talk, he, well, first of she'll all, vanish. He's a she. Yeah, she'll vanish. Sorry. But that's amazing, though, right? Maybe she likes it. Who knows? <laughs> when you're at when you're at work, she's like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah." She's got illustrations of what you're doing <laughs> under her bed. Cross. So yeah, no, this <laughs> this right here. So I also noticed that just like the 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 other what's it, the wet seal uh, yeah, human yeah, SM yeah, mask, yeah. there is a spot for a straw for us. Uh, right. Yeah, for that gritty ass sandpaper tongue. So uh, I think that was good. Or I was just gonna say, I thought you were gonna go a different way with it. Whoa, was whoa, whoa. it's a mask that you put on them. So like, let's say when somebody puts peanut butter on their bits, that they don't have to actually look eye to eye and be wow. like, well, you know, yeah, we're doing this, and I don't want to see you see me. You, do, I, I don't know about that. I didn't know that you could do that with cats. I thought you, you did that. I don't know. I mean, it's got cats a, with uh, what's it's it? A a tongue. Tuna, right? Is that how you do tuna spread? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think we've gone off the boat here. But I'm really excited because after this break, we're going to be talking to our first uh, athlete, right? IBW International Big Time Wrestling. And uh, we'll see you in a second. And we are back, and I want to introduce our guest today. So, first off, we have the man, the myth, the legend. You have no idea what he looks like, but you know how hard he hits. It is the amazing, the mysterious, Mavato. Yeah. Woo. So mysterious. Hello, humans. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I've been a fan of Mavato for years, and uh, I was really excited when we got to work with him with IBW. I was going to say. Look at I got the Movado pin. A little, a little backstory. I actually met regular sized Rick at the Movado booth at the last IBW show we went to. Wow. That was yeah. a badass show. Great. So what do you do, Chris? I am a professional yo-yo player. A professional yo-yo player. So um, I was wondering earlier, I was asking you, it's, it's not a yo-yoist. Correct. Not a yo-yoer. It's a yo-yoer. Oh, it is a yo-yo. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. 
I like you that. were not listening. I don't. I don't want to, uh, you know, miss uh, uh, represent you or of give course. you the wrong label. Yeah, yeah. Because it's really important. Because an er or an ist or him, her, you know, we don't know. You know, we do, we're just trying to figure it out. Better play it safe than sorry. Better play safe than sorry. So really excited because later on he's going to give us a special treat. He's going to show us his biggest, his baddest yo-yo tricks. All right, so Mavado, let's get started with yes. you. Let's get the let's Would get the hard serious, questions. Please. All right, let's the, the, the real questions. People want to know. I know what's the TMZ called me today. They could not believe that we got the mysterious Mavado Clearly. on. They're like, we've been trying to crack this egg here for they're, years. They're messaging. So you. me and me and Iggy over here, we got some questions for him. What, what do they, they call wrestling panties? Those are called trunks. I told you, I knew it. Okay. I fucking knew it. So, okay, that, I'm, I'm just going to go off. Can I tell you the story? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead. So, when I spent some time in Florida, I went to, um, to uh, 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 Hulk Hogan's store. Do you know he has one out there? Yes, yes. It is absolutely incredible. I was super stoked to go. I actually made two trips out there, and I met his niece. And she was blonde and wonderful and very nice. We went to the store with a gentleman that worked with us who was a little bit, he was a little off. And we took him into the store, and he was he didn't know anything about Hulk Hogan. He was he was he was about your age. You know, he didn't live through the Us 80s, but you're cool. You're really cool. You he had been taken stuff. out of his package yeah, in a long not, not time at all. ago. Yeah, yeah, not at all. So we walk in there, and there's he has his trunks all over the walls. They're they're like, and they're signed, and he has plaques, and all of the screens in the Hulk store used trunks. Yes, used trunks, and all yeah. the screens he has TVs all in every corner, and they're all showing him winning matches. <laughs> it, like if I had a store, that's exactly what it would be like. It would sure. just be me like doing dope shit and cutting out all the losses yes. and all the times that I did the intro three times, yeah. you know, stuff like that. So we walked in there, and this kid just completely like pie-eyed, this crazy kid, walks up to the trunks, grabs them in his hands, oh, no. and gives it one of these. Wow. And Hulk's, Hulk, uh, Hulk's uh, niece goes, excuse me, sir, can I help you? He goes, yes. Are these the Hulk's panties? <laughs> and she took very strong offense to it and said, no, sir, those are not called panties. They are called trunks. So I wanted, to I wanted to check that out because you do this every day. And I wasn't going to take Hulk's niece for that. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, they're gorgeous. And She's telling the truth. Those it, are called they're trunks. They're called trunks. Okay. What did it smell like? Victory? What did it smell like? I didn't it smell It wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. I told him he could burn me, and he oh. burned me. All right? So an insane man walked you just in the whole got, store. Uh, he just got duked by the yo-yo. Starts sniffing panties, yeah, and uh, he got One me. time, my friend said, yeah. "This guy with a uh, someone who's not me, yeah. swim." Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so um, didn't you? Did you ever? You met the Hulk, right? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, what I was like five, five mm. or six. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, going on a family trip to Disney World, mm. and we were at the Atlanta airport doing a layover, and Hulk Hogan's walking down. You know, the, the terminal thing, and, and my dad sees him, and he knows that his name's Terry. He goes like, hey, Terry, how you doing? You know, and Hulk goes like, good, good brother, how you doing? <laughs> you know? and, uh, and then, you know, lightning shot out of his penis and hit me in the chest. So it was, you know, it was just... How'd you get that stain out? Uh, no, <laughs> you can't. No, it's like Harry Potter. No, it's, it's, it's no it's stain. It's on his chest. It's a scar. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, no, he's, it's great. You know, he's, he really took, um, what is it, uh, b a male pattern baldness and really rolled with it. So. Yeah. I it's mean, I think Always Sunny had it right when they said he's got the skin of a hot dog and the <laughs> hair, the fine silken hair of a China man. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. I don't think they uh, prefer that nomenclature. Oh, I'm Chinese man. I'm sorry. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay. So uh, next up, let's see. We got another question for, uh, for Dr. Mavado. Let's see. <clears throat> the mysterious, craziest experience in wrestling. Craziest experience in wrestling yeah, probably what, what would be my experience at the gathering of the Juggalos. Oh, awesome. son of a bitch! Right? Yeah. What, what was that? Okay, dude, I'm telling you, man. So either I want to go to any time so I've been at the gathering of the Juggalos, it has been an awakening. Okay. What is what is it about it that is? I mean, uh, are there specific things that are make it? I mean, uh, it's the gathering. Obviously, it's going to be right. Yeah, ban you know, bananas, but. What is it that is bananas? Is there anything specific, Man, or is it just because it, it's gathering? It's it's really right. like its own planet. Um, you know, when when those people gather, right? Those people. Uh, those people. <laughs> yeah, Who terrible. are you calling those people? No, but when 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 the juggalos gather together and yeah. they create this environment that you know is unique. It's it's one yeah. of a kind, and there's a lot of really positive things that are going on. Yeah, uh, I witnessed. 
a lot of people that actually were, you know, losing their minds because they had lost their bags or, you know, their 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 cellular device or their, yeah. their wallet or whatnot. And and people that don't know one another just going out of their way because they truly believe that they're family. So I was right? gonna say it really is a it, family. It really boggles the mind. That's awesome. When yeah. you when That's you so see, cool. you know, everyone talks about it. Um, but you know, as, as an, and I've worked with, uh, you know, psychopathic records for years, obviously right. that, that's how I started in wrestling, but, um, to witness, you know, their fan base, mm -hmm. um, pull together like that is, is pretty incredible. And then it, it really becomes during the performances becomes yeah. very, uh, the crowd is, is another factor of the performances even if it's just the music that's happening right. um they're definitely w working to the crowd um they're they're very passionate mm -hmm. uh they like to throw things so good or bad mostly bad <laughs> <laughs> so you know give you give you an example uh the bump and uglies my my former tag team in the ring uh with the midnight express and uh, somebody decides to throw a pack of lit fireworks. Oh, right. lit firecrackers! Jesus mm. Christ! Yeah, um, that was something that happened. Great idea in your brain, but not when execution. Right, but yeah. then also you could have been an execution. You enter in your <laughs> ringside, and then a fan will literally pass you a bong that he is lighting. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's many things that are wild about the gathering and many of the stories that have been told um, yeah. are probably true. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what's so crazy about the gathering and it's and about, you know, the whole culture anyway. It's like there's no other culture like that. Yeah. It's insane. Like, yeah. you know, they're, I mean, they've got to the level where it, they're like Kiss or like the Grateful Dead Pretty or maybe much. even yeah. even more than that because, I mean, the, the gathering, these people, they're life. They're lifers. Like, you can meet a juggalo that's 10 years old and you can meet another juggalo who's fucking 50 years yes. old. Yes. And they're all hanging out together. And I have. Never. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's insane. And like, yeah. Um, what is it? I don't know if you guys, uh, well, if you guys know this, but uh, uh, Rocks TV has some strong roots in that culture. Sure. So uh, we, we do interviews with, uh, with the Juggalos. With, uh, we have uh, ICP that we're good friends with. Right, guys? Hopefully right. they say yes. Um, and then other, other artists on that label. And uh, it, that's actually how we got into working with IBW. Yeah. So, so on and on it goes, right? Yeah, you know? on, and, on and on it goes. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it's really cool. I'm glad that uh, you have some cool stories and good memories. Now, Professor oh, yeah. Movado, yeah. um, I hope you don't mind me jumping into the question. Uh, no, well, you're, you're, you're my here. bro yo. Please, yeah, yeah. Bro yeah. bring it. So uh, I know it's about more than just the music with the Gathering of the Juggles, but I, I have to know, uh, what's your favorite Insane Con Posse song? Ooh, my favorite ICP song. Solid question coming from Chris. Ah, that's a solid one. Man. While he thinks, I'm just going to throw this out there. What uh, is yours, bro? Yeah, uh, the I know you've got fun, one. The most fun I've ever had listening to a song for the first time was when I was introduced to the song Miracles. That Miracles. is that was it. Okay. That's, that's the one that we love, yeah. 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 We, Magnets, we, what are those? We yeah, quote that all the time. How do they work, you yeah. know? Yeah. You know, wow. thank you to Ben Gates for that. Yeah, yeah I go, I, I go it. a little bit further back. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because of how long you know we've we've right. been associated, but um, chicken hunting. <laughs> yeah, there you uh, go. Is is one that I could just when it's every time it comes on, it's like all right, okay, and then I'll now I got to recite every yeah. word and right, all right. that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, big shout outs to to my guys. Yeah, that's that's awesome. We're really we're really. Um, feel honored that we're part of, you know, such an awesome community. It's really cool. Uh, and, you know, if you're from Detroit, man, you bump into those guys all the time. Like, if you've ever been to a Denny's or a Walmart, you're going to find yourself a drug <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. And yeah. just, I wanted to say, I mean, we got some more cards, some yeah. more questions to ask. We We're going to just more. burn this out until we... So, all right. th we've got a two-parter here. Yeah. Uh, first question, have you ever seen Glow? Yes. All uh, right. How did you feel about it? Uh, it's excellent. Great. Yeah. We think it's excellent, too. And... What is the craziest fan that you've had over the years? Um, there, are some, there are sometimes fans that will continuously... Oh, there's one right now. Oh, <laughs> God. Um, that will continuously message and not necessarily get the point that people have lives yeah. and don't have... You're not an just un, a character. An unlimited amount of time to respond. I, right. I, and I think... 
it, it comes with the territory. I'm very interactive with my fans. I'm yeah, very. He is very interactive with his. I'm fans. very pro it's fan um, because that's that's what we do. It's all about the fans. If we don't have fans, what are we doing? Right. Um, but sometimes there are some people that really want to monopolize your time. Um, and I did have a fan one time that was, he, he was just really hell bent on having me sing happy birthday to his nephew. <laughs> I love doing that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, and he was like, I need, I need you to film a video. I'm like, I'm busy. I can't do this, right? I, you know, right. Well, can you do it at the live pro wrestling show in, 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 down in Finley, or sorry, Fremont, Ohio? Mm -hmm. I said, absolutely. You know, and he just kept, he said, can you send me a video of how you're going to do it? Ooh. And I said, well, no, I'll just, I'll, you know, I'll bring I'll him into it. the ring and I'll so say, he's like a choosing beggar. He's a mysterious Movado fan and, yeah. you know, he's got a mask and all this and we'll have a good time with it and we'll have the wrestlers sing. But right. I need to know how you're going to do it. And he just kept on, like, really hammering me on, like, show me what you're going to do. And I was like, man. Dance, like, monkey, like, dance. Like, yeah. I got <laughs> it. I'm like, I got it, okay? Um, and then come to the show. And he's like, look, I, I, if, if, if he doesn't come to the ring, he said, just sing happy birthday to him. So here mm -hmm. we are. We're asking for this kid's name. No one shows up to the ring. Right. We're, we're like, well, happy birthday, right? <laughs> we're like, hey, happy birthday, buddy, and all this, that way, because they film their stuff. Right, right? yeah. Uh, come to find out, the guy never showed up. You got to Oh, kidding. yeah. The guy never showed up with his nephew, none of that. Did they and, at least get the video? And blocked. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, come on, what are we doing here? Right. Like, so, you know, just stuff like that. That's not a fan. That's an um, asshole. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes they, people just want to get too personal and they want to get involved in your personal life. And that's, you know, it's a clear line that I draw. So, yeah, that's, I mean, they, they, it's an idol, you know, like, you they don't see that you're actually, I mean, you're not a human being. I know. Well, I'm a hybrid. You're right? a hybrid. Right. But right. There's, there, there's a person there that goes to work and does, you know, normal things inside, deep inside. And people have a hard so time, and they don't want to break that, you know, fantasy away. They don't want to do it because, really, you know, it's more fun that way, and it gives them something to aspire to themselves. So, yeah. and I understand that. You know, that's uh, I, I'm a big fan of, of the mysterious Mavado. Oh, thanks. Um, I as actually, we all are. Yeah, we all are. yes. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was just gonna go into that. Like, I, I think I messaged him three times today, guys. So yeah. I'm on that list. But um, I was actually a big fan of your band. Thank the you. The Bump and Uglies. I, my old band, Zero Dependence, a punk band back in the day, uh, we played with your band a couple of times when you guys were nice to younger bands. So like, boy. okay, I guess we'll let these assholes play. <laughs> and then I was at one show where you guys lit some curtains on fire. Uh, can you tell us about that show? That was my favorite. Ah, uh, well, you, you mean at the uh, State Theater? Yeah, that okay. was uh, my favorite my favorite bump and ugly story. We, we opened up for a band called The Suicide Machines at the State Theater, which is now known as the Fremont, or... Fillmore. 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 Yeah. I, why do I keep saying Fremont? It's okay. Uh, it's not as known as the Fillmore. So at, at the time, we were doing a lot of the uh, pro wrestling stage show where we would have uh, a, an arch nemesis come in, attack us. You know, craziness would ensue. Mm -hmm. um, hardcore, deathmatch-style wrestling uh, would, would occur. And right. what we did on this night, we, we thought it was a really great idea that um, we had a big ladder there. We had two tables set up, and we just thought to ourselves, you know, let's barbecue our <laughs> arch nemesis, uh, who went by the name of Inferno. It was so brilliant. I was um, standing there like this as a kid. Yeah. So which, which Inferno, actually, for those who don't know, many of the uh, professional wrestling titles that you see in and around Michigan, many of the titles you see on different MMA right. uh, programs that are on TV that are not UFC, mm -hmm. um, and actually the, the new Impact title belts have all been repainted by Zebros, uh, wow. championship belt maker. And that's the, that's the gentleman we're talking about here. Um, <laughs> at the time, he was our arch nemesis. So we set him upon two tables stacked on top right. of one another. And we lit the bottom table on fire. And so now my man is literally being cooked yeah. on the top wow. table. And then I climbed on top. I, was, I think it was about a 15-foot ladder. Yeah. And I jumped off of the ladder. This is all 290 pounds of me at the time. The, the, the ladder did this, too. Yes. I watched it fly As out. I jump, it just flies away. Oh, my God. And we splash through the tables. There is a little bit of a fire that ensues, just a small <laughs> bit. <laughs> now, it wasn't really it was like bad. a great white concert. Everybody starts running. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> just a small bit. Um, but, but, but funny story, factoid yeah, to this, is... this, is that then we got the water. We had water at the ready. We had water. Um, 
and then we had a very uh, very stern conversation with the stage manager there who informed us that we were banned for life. Bump and Uglies would never Incredible. perform at the State Theater again. And it was due to the water, yeah. not so much the fire, um, but what they were worried about was, was the water that right. we had thrown on stage because of all the different electric. In you know, 17, situations. I think I was 17 at the time, and I remember uh, seeing that. We were all like, we, everybody in the community talked about that show. And then when we heard that they got banned, it made them even bigger. I swear to God, all of us were like, yes. They lit the Fillmore on fire. Yes. It was, it was awesome. absolutely incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad that we have you telling that story. Because actually, when I talked to Movado at the last show, I brought that up. And I said, I remember you guys got in, in trouble for setting it on fire. And he goes, no, it wasn't the fire. It was the water. It was the water. Incredible. Yeah. A different element altogether. I, I was going to say, we need some earth in there and yeah. some wind. And I, I yeah. think we'll have uh, right. maybe Captain Planet. Huh? <laughs> Let our powers <laughs> combine. <laughs> they hate the boo-boo. They hate the boo-boo. Wow. Boo -boo. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. I thought there was somebody just looking <laughs> in and watching hey, our shit. So Casper, we got, audience, man. Casper, and then we'll come by. I need you, Casper. <laughs> and then we'll Dangerous. come by in here and we'll be the mysterious Yo-Yo Vado. Oh! Yo, mysterious Yo Vado. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Right? Right? There. So, so that was absolutely really amazing. Um, real quick, this is our, uh, our our PA Casper, and I have a really important question for him. I may have an Fill this up with alcohol. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Please, please. I said I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Please okay. and thank you. So no, that was great. I'm really glad I got to ask those we, questions. We, yeah. No, Do you no want to ask one more in the before um, we move on to our other guests? What? Well, I want to know what we can expect in the future from Mysterious Movado. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know, as the name would suggest, uh, you never quite know. Oh! But one thing is for sure. It's going to be regaining my international big-time wrestling heavyweight championship title coming up very oh, yeah. soon Hell at yeah. IBW. Ooh, on when is the that? 16th That's of right. February. February 16th. Yes, be there or be square. Information to be provided on this awesome podcast, right? We will have that. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So that's going to be the first and foremost. You know, uh, we've got a big season going on right now for XICW Wrestling with the Vet. I have my uh, I have my rookie with me, Electric Eric Ely. So we're looking at capturing the Wrestling with the Vet uh, Championship. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we're continuing to work on that. Of course, I'm appearing at Wrestling and Respect down in Lima, Ohio, nice. um, chasing after the title uh, for UWF down in South Bend, uh, trying to return to live pro wrestling over in Fremont, Ooh, Fremont. Ohio at the Strand Concert Theater. And just having a whole lot of fun doing it, you know? Um, yeah. Looking to return to Mexico here in May again. Nice. Uh, for Chilanga Mask and for nice. also the Ultimo Dragon Dragon Mania at Arena Mexico. Nice. Uh, so really looking forward to getting back there and uh, seeing my human south of the border. I got to say, wah. future's looking bright. Yeah. yeah, it's looking real bright. Actually, um, I have a couple more questions for you, but I want to I wanna show the promo for International Big Time Wrestling. That's okay. Let's, let's play that there now. We'll, we'll have two more questions yeah. for you, and we're going to get to our other Roll guests. that beautiful let's... bean footage. Sunday, February 16th, International Big Time Wrestling comes to Trenton, Michigan for a live TV taping. Don't miss it. He's going right through a body. He oh, caught Eva. Oh, he sprayed Eva he right in the Eva. face. Miscalculation there. Movado right on his feet, though, able to escape almost certain doom. And, and he got to hook the tights. Oh my God. What the heck? Do we have a new champion? It's the rematch you have all been waiting for. Officer Rod Street versus Mysterious Movado. The Jefferson Event Center, formerly known as Knights of Columbus, is located at 5474 West Jefferson in Trenton, Michigan. Doors are at 11.30, bell time at noon, only $10. Children 12 and under are free. So, um, yeah, so we have a couple more questions from Movado, and then we're going to let him get going because he's got some stuff to do today. And then we're going to get into uh, some tricks, some uh, fun, and some treats, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, we can't Ooh. ignore so, our other uh, guests here. So, Mr. Yeah. Uh, before we move on to another segment we like to do, I'm going to ask you, give, me, give us a brief history on the Movado. So tell us a little bit about your beginnings to where you are now. Well, the mysterious one kind of started as kind of a, you know, faceless kind of 
personality list thing as the Bump and Uglies, right? With yeah. the Bump and Uglies, yeah. it was Bump and Ugly one, Bump and Ugly two, and I I found a, a different mask that, that kind of enabled me to enabled me to kind of come out and actually yeah. use a little bit more of my human side, you know. Mm. And and once I kind of realized that on this planet, my role was really to look after the humans. More so, <laughs> more so than to the protector. We than need to it. attack them, and I just kind of had a little bit of a crossroad there, and, and switched it on up, which really coincided with right a uh, hundred pounds of, of earth poundage mm -hmm. uh, that I had lost. So it's kind of like you know this this weight loss, and all of a sudden this whole positive thing just DDP yoga just turned me around, brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> And so, you know, ever since the mysterious Movado has just been here on Earth, just protecting the humans, having a good time, partying, enjoying ourselves, and making sure that bullies don't win, man. Hell yeah, man. Bullies yeah. don't win. Speaking of... Quick, quick question. Hold on. I'm going to yeah. interrupt you. I got a quick question. Uh, because I'm about to embark on a, yet another weight loss journey, but what was your secret? Yeah. Well, no, no secret, really. You know, DDP right. yoga, straight up, DDP nice. yoga... And intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Um, it works. Now, you see me enjoying a high fructose corn syrup soda. Non-diet. Which, non-diet, correct. Um, but I have earned this. Uh, but, yes, it, it is something that I had to cut out, the, the okay. soda. Uh, I was really big into, like, either a Slurpee situation or a Speedy, speedy Freeze. Mm -hmm. So I had to get rid of those basically empty calories that right. I was taking in. Once I did that with the intermittent fasting, with the DDP yoga, it just kind of started to melt off. On an on okay. important scale of 1 to 10, diet? Diet, um, 8.9. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 8.999. Big one. Right. Yep. Yeah, I know. I like that a lot better than uh, Max Julian's uh, advice last time. Oh, wait, he, what did he, he say? He told me if I want to get hard, right? No, I need, I need, yeah. Uh, oh, um, diet. Yeah. Um, it was uh, uh, contraceptive. Contraceptive. And um, what is it? Uh, uh, I don't know the other one. Cardio. 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 That's what it was. So yeah. I like I like Bavado's better. I think it might, might work for it's me. It's all about that diet. It's all okay. about that diet. All, all about right. that base. So... Um, real quick, we do something for every um, headlining guest we have. We usually um, have stuff you know, written beforehand, and we have uh, gifts that we spend a little time you know, looking for. But because you are who you are, and we already love you, it was easy for us to find yep. you a gift. Aww. So uh, hold on one second. What do we have? We're going to drum roll uh -huh. here. Is that thing on live? <laughs> the suspense. Is somewhat annoying me. What's going on here? Okay, so, Movado, we're yeah. huge fans. We big, love you. Big time. Yeah. We love we love watching your cam show on Chatterbait. Yep, it's beautiful. I mean, the yeah. mask, everything comes off, but the mask. Your biggest donor is right here, buddy. I just want to say that when you lost the belt in the last match, we thought it was bullshit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and uh, we will be there behind you. Yeah, uh, just sticking it to the man with you because that behind guy, me, do you have do you yeah. have to be behind me? You, yeah. well, I mean, no, I mean, I thought I'd have my hands on your hips. Right? We will stick it to the man. Emotionally, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, man. we want to give you a gift because we know you're a drummer. We I am. Uh, we got you this beautiful animal skin drum. Wow. And it says on here, always friends. Always friends. Uh, friends forever. Yeah. Always. And and I want you to think of this so you don't block me on uh, Messenger. Okay. And uh, let's hand this over to you. All right, wow, this is, um, well, this is Thank something. Thank you, Steve. Um, Steve did that design on the front. It's, it's me um, and Movado holding hands. Yes. And that's, that's what we're, we're doing. And yes. when he beats Are you off, the taller one? The yes. drum, when he hits the drum, well, he's when he beats the drum. He's only regular sized. Yeah, you're, you're, I'm regular sized. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the tall one. The, oh. Yeah, you see that? Oh. So we oh. want you to remember us it's by tuned. that. It's oh. definitely got a tone. And uh, you know what, too, today we have some other things. Ooh. Oh, let me see. Uh, we usually don't do a gift for people that are not the headliners. Uh-oh. But we did today. Uh-oh. Wow. For my we bro got yo official the 2020 12-month no. calendar no. from Lisa Frank. Lisa oh Voorhees. Oh, my gosh. For our oh, buddy Mark Chris. Voorhees. Chris, come on down. Come on. You walk in front. I want you to take this. Yep. Wow. What an honor, huh? Absolutely amazing. So I want you to look at this. I don't know what yo-yo awards you've had, but I think this beats them all. Yeah. This? Yeah. You deserve that. I can say I've traveled all around the world winning yo-yo competitions, and nothing quite compares to the sentiment behind a Lisa yeah. Frank right. calendar. Wow. Also, the That's last thing something. for, for Mr. Uh, Mr. Mysterious Movado, we got you this Legends Wall Walkers uh, Myst Mysterious 
uh, uh, WWF or WWE uh, pack. So we don't know what wrestlers in here because mm. we don't know what wrestlers in there. Oh. We want you to take this when you go home, open it up, and message me and let me know that you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it's had a shitty wrestler. I'll it's a legend, very, so it shouldn't wait. be shitty. I cannot wait. To so find um, out. we both we both got our pins right. Of course. And we both got our pins, and we want to say, um, uh, you know, as far as fans here, uh, we really enjoyed having you. Yes. You're a good I man. Enjoyed being it was here. An honor. He Thank actually you. came here today from a place that we respect, the House of Truth. And if you don't know about the House of Truth, I'm going to throw a plug in here. These guys, if you want to get into wrestling, these are the guys you want to talk to, okay? I watch the videos of their trainings, and this is, this is amazing. They have a real ring, they have real wrestlers, and they teach you to get the candy out of your ass. Yeah, they're pretty great. If it'd be okay, if we could get the, um, the man that uh, runs the House of Truth, is he over here? Is he back there somewhere? Hold on. There he is. Oh, come on down. Come on down. Let's hear it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Is it all right if you switch over for a shirt. second, Chris? Of course, we'll of bring course. it back in a minute. Love that shirt. You know, I'm one thing have I have to re restrain myself here because I'm not on the best of terms with this guy. Uh oh, no, it's okay. We understand. It's it's an on again, off again, right? Tension. Yeah, yeah, that's something like that. So I mean, personally, I like the guy, but on a business level, we kind of don't see eye to eye. But that's okay. How you doing, guys? We're doing, We're doing great, man. Fantastic. You, you kind of made this happen today. We wouldn't have got the Movado if you didn't lend them to us. Well, that's kind of what I do. I always make things happen, you know. And uh, thank you for the introduction. But the proper intro introduction is. I am the TV super duper King Kong mega mega managerial sensation and life intervention expert. Yours truly, Truth Martini. It's your guys' pleasure. Listen, I, you cool know, I, as a cucumber. I love it. Now, can you tell me how? Tell me what is the House of Truth? Where did you come up with this ideology? This uh, uh, this this culture? This this entity that is House of Truth. The House of Truth works on many different levels. First off, Ooh. it is uh, it's it's the most unique professional wrestling school in the world. Yeah. I've had all kinds of students coming out uh, coming out of there, and uh, it's four days a week, four hours a day for twelve weeks long, Monday through Thursday, six p.m. till ten p.m. And then I took that, and then for the major companies I work for, that is my stable. I am the front man. I am uh, the right. life intervention expert, Truth Martini. And all the guys that I manage, I always take them to the top, and the, the group is called the House of Truth. That just blew my mind. That's, that's a little bit of uh, wrestling and a little bit of Zen Buddhism. You heard the truth here. That's Correct. incredible. I'm really, really happy that you brought this guy. And I'm really happy that you brought yourself up here because, uh, you know, I mean, we were fans. We, we are those. we are fans. So um, hold on. Let me see if I have a gift for you. Let's see here. Oh, man. <laughs> gifts. I like me some oh gifts. God. Okay, I do. All right, Iggy, would you like to uh, present this gift to the man? Um, we humbly present you with... Finn Baylor, <laughs> WWE superstar. You deserve it. We love it. Thank you so much. Can't do better than that. Next time we're going to have you on headlining because I want you to bring that beautiful book of truth. Yes, for sure. And I want to go um, do a do, do a segment where you guys show me how to you know not be such a candy ass. It, I can't. Find we it need all. an intervention it, on you. Yeah. I mean, to begin with, so we, we could do this like is a, our man. We could do like a Rocky um, montage right. where you show me starting off looking right. like this yeah. and then, then ending maybe looking a little more like Mavado over here. Right. I love it. It'd be my pleasure, guys. I Anytime. would love that. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to cut to our next commercial here, um, and then we're going to talk to our favorite yo-yoer, right? Yo-yoer. Yo-yoer, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. your favorite radio show in the world with your two favorite radio show hosts Uncle Rocky and Ism Hey yo Ism, what you got cooking in that pot of gumbalaya? Yeah <laughs> Come on Cause it's Detroit Unplug Radio Detroit Unplug Radio
the smoke is because of the fire that started in Eric's crotch from watching that. <laughs> That was absolutely amazing, guys. I really loved it. We even have some effects lights that are still on. Yeah. That's incredible. So, yeah, I've never seen anything like that in real life. That was awesome, especially that yeah. two-hander at the end. Yeah. Ooh. Two hands. It's like a double du Is it called a double Dutch rudder? Yep. Double okay, that's Dutch incredible. Double Dutch rudder. I love that. So, um, rudder on we're, rudder on rudder. <laughs> I'm really glad that we had you come in here today. We had a good time. I had a blast. We're going to do more of these. I really think that uh, we should put some more stuff together, some more yo-yoing. Absolutely. We need to have you uh, come with us to some of our wrestling events. Absolutely. Yeah. And For you sure. should help us make fun of more people. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so we have some stuff to look forward to. So I like to say I'm regular size Rick. I'm your favorite used car salesman under Big Bob. And I don't mean under because we're related. I, I don't want to go he there. He works beneath him. Yes, I work beneath him, and I'm taller than him, so it doesn't make a difference. So yes, I am regular size Rick. Um, I'm here today. You know what? I'm at Victory Motors here in Royal Oak. We have a beautiful studio here where we shoot our uh, casts with Rocks TV. So if you want to come in one of these days to check out what we have and maybe be on the show, we, we, we invite characters. What's the show about? Characters. Characters. So I don't care if you're a musician, if you are, uh, let's say, a bagger at Kroger. As long as you have some attitude, we want to have you. Did you say beggar or a bagger? A bagger, not a, ba a okay. beggar at Kroger. They beggar have may have more character. That might mm -hmm. be cool. So if you know a character or if you are a character, please give us a call. We are excited to have you. We have a really cool guest coming on in a couple of weeks. I'm really excited about it. You yes. guys know about that? Yes. So we have a guest um, who is an actually real-life Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Mm -hmm. Her name is Michelle Ivy. You can watch many of her videos on YouTube. She has probably the largest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles <laughs> collection in the United States, maybe even the world. Probably the world. I would, yeah, I would she, imagine the she world. She owns the... Uh, uh, aside from, um, what's the company, Playmates? Yeah. Playmates she, is probably the only one that's bigger. It's incredible. She owns the, the costumes from the original movie. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah she wears them. She actually, yeah. um, one thing I really love about her is uh, she just doesn't stop. She does not quit. And um, she is basically the real life uh, incarnation of Michelangelo the Turtle. She talks like that. She's got the energy. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. I feel like I'm meeting the Ninja Turtles here in a couple Turtley. weeks. So it's Turtley. gonna be really cool. And then we're gonna have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna invite my guys. And this might actually be the invite right here. My buddy Eric, Milkman Eric, over at uh, Detroit Ghostbusters. Come on, Eric. Yeah. So we want to have him pull the Ecto One in here. We need to be able to say we came, we saw, we, we kicked its so ass. I love it. Yes. So, Bill Murray, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of cool, really cool stuff, a lot of really cool uh, characters coming in. And if you know any characters, please send them our way. And please buy a car from me. Buy a car from Miggy. He doesn't sell them, but he'll give me the money. It'll be great. So uh, we want to thank uh, Bob Rocks over there at Rocks TV. Thank you, Bob. We want to thank uh, our friends at Burn Rubber. We want to thank our friends at IBW Burn International IBW. Big Time Wrestling. Big time. And uh, we also want to thank our guests from last week. We had some really good guests from last week. Go to Dilla Day. Enjoy yourself. Butter and, uh, on butter on butter. On Steve, you got any butter. final thoughts? Um, tune in next week. Because uh, uh, we will keep doing this shit until you guys are like, uh, this sucks. What do you got for us? One more final thought. Come on. Thank you guys for having me. This was absolutely incredible. Thank you for coming on. You'll be back, all right? So, regular size Rick, Rick at night with my heel, Iggy. And we are out. out. Enjoy this video from RocksTV.com. Make sure you follow Rocks TV on Facebook and YouTube. If it's underground, we're there. Oh, whoa, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That was like a guy. Like that's like a, the fingerspin vortex. It's like a tornado. I'm right never there. talking to another woman again. Jesus. If, that's yeah, incredible. Yeah, no kidding.